Imagine the scene, Europe 1914, a continent simmering with tension where the assassination of an archduke triggers a catastrophic conflict that engulfs the world. World War I, often called the Great War, reshaped nations and lives forever. But why did Germany, a major European power, decide to step into this devastating conflict? What drove its leaders to make decisions that would lead to such widespread destruction? In this video, we delve into the intricate web of political, economic, and strategic factors that compelled Germany to go to war in 1914. By examining the fears, ambitions, and calculations of the time, we aim to uncover the true motivations behind Germany's fateful decision. Join us as we unravel the untold story of why Germany had to start the war in 1914. Before the outbreak of World War I, Europe was a powder keg of geopolitical tensions, with intricate alliances and deep-seated rivalries defining the balance of power. The continent was essentially divided into two major alliance systems, the Triple Entente and the Triple Alliance. The Triple Entente consisted of France, Russia, and Great Britain. These countries were bound together by mutual interests and a common apprehension about Germany's growing power. On the other side, the Triple Alliance included Germany, Austria, Hungary, and Italy. This alliance was created to counterbalance the perceived threat from the Entente powers. Amid this tense atmosphere, smaller alliances and agreements further complicated the situation. For instance, Russia had a treaty with Serbia, and Britain had agreements to protect Belgium's neutrality. These intricate alliances meant that any conflict involving one or two countries could quickly draw in others, creating a domino effect. Visual aids like maps can help illustrate this precarious balance. For example, a map showing the borders and alliances can depict how Germany and Austria-Hungary were surrounded by the Entente powers, highlighting their strategic vulnerability. Similarly, pictures of military parades and political leaders of the time can underscore the militaristic and nationalistic fervor that pervaded Europe. This uncertain peace was marked by an arms race, with many European nations expanding their militaries and stockpiling weapons. This escalation further heightened suspicions and made diplomatic resolutions more difficult. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary in June 1914 was the spark that ignited this volatile situation, but the underlying geopolitical tensions had been brewing for years. Germany's strategic position in Europe before World War I was fraught with challenges and fears, particularly the fear of encirclement by hostile powers. Surrounded by the potential threats of France to the west and Russia to the east, Germany's leaders were acutely aware of their vulnerable geographic position. This encirclement fear was a driving force behind many of their strategic strategic decisions. The German military and political leadership were deeply influenced by these concerns. Key figures such as Kaiser Wilhelm II and his generals believed that war with their neighbors was inevitable due to the ongoing arms race and the web of alliances. They felt that it was only a matter of time before they would have to fight on multiple fronts. To address this strategic dilemma, Germany devised the Schlieffen Plan, named after its architect, General Alfred von Schlieffen. The plan aimed to avoid the catastrophic scenario of a prolonged two-front war. The Schlieffen plan proposed a rapid and decisive victory over France by invading through Belgium, thereby bypassing the heavily fortified French-German border. The idea was to quickly knock France out of the war and then redirect German forces to the Eastern Front to face Russia, which was expected to mobilize more slowly. This plan reflected Germany's hope to capitalize on speed and surprise, avoiding a prolonged conflict that would strain their resources. However, the plan was not without risks. Violating Belgian neutrality risked bringing Britain into the war, and the logistical challenges of such a rapid campaign were immense. The German leadership's reliance on the Schlieffen plan shows their desperation to manage their strategic vulnerability. They believed that a quick and decisive action was their best chance to secure victory and avoid the nightmare of being crushed between France and Russia. This mindset contributed significantly to their willingness to engage in war when the opportunity arose in 1914. Germany's rapid economic growth in the late 19th and early 20th centuries fueled its ambitions for greater global influence and colonial expansion. As the nation industrialized, it became a leading producer of steel, coal, and manufactured goods, which significantly boosted its economy. However, this economic boom also brought about a fierce competition for resources, markets, and territories. Germany's late unification in 1871 meant it was a newcomer to the colonial race, lagging behind established powers like Britain and France, which had already carved out vast empires in Africa, Asia, and the Americas. Determined to secure its place as a global power, Germany sought to acquire colonies that could provide raw material 
materials for its industries and markets for its goods. This pursuit often put it at odds with other colonial powers, leading to tensions and disputes. One notable example is the Moroccan crises, where Germany's attempts to challenge French influence in Morocco in 1905 and 1911 nearly led to war. These incidents highlighted Germany's willingness to confront other European powers to expand its imperial reach. The desire for a place in the sun, as Kaiser Wilhelm II famously put it, was a driving force behind Germany's aggressive foreign policy. Industrialization played a crucial role in shaping these ambitions. As Germany's industries grew, so did its need for raw materials like rubber, oil, and metals, which were often sourced from overseas colonies. The expansion of the navy, supported by figures like Admiral Alfred von Tirpitz, was part of this strategy to protect and extend Germany's global interests. The naval arms race, with Britain further exacerbated tensions, as both nations built larger and more powerful fleets. Germany's quest for economic and imperial dominance made conflict almost inevitable. The aggressive pursuit of colonies and markets, coupled with the existing alliances and rivalries, created a volatile international environment. This backdrop of economic ambition and industrial might was a key factor in Germany's readiness to engage in war in 1914, as it sought to secure its place among the world's great powers. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary on June 28, 1914 in Sarajevo by Gavrilo Princip, a Bosnian Serb nationalist, set off a chain reaction leading to World War I. Austria-Hungary, seeking to crush Serbian nationalism, issued an ultimatum to Serbia with Germany's full support, known as the Blank Check, guaranteeing unconditional backing. When Serbia's response failed to meet all demands, Austria-Hungary declared war on July 28. Russia mobilized in support of Serbia, prompting Germany to declare war on Russia on August 1st. Following the Schlieffen Plan, Germany declared war on France on August 3rd, and invaded Belgium on August 4th, bringing Britain into the conflict. Germany's unconditional support for Austria-Hungary escalated a regional conflict into a full-scale war, triggering the mobilization of Allied forces and plunging Europe into World War I. In the weeks after Archduke Franz Ferdinand's assassination, a rapid series of mobilizations and declarations of war led to World War I. Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia on July 28, 1914. Russia, supporting Serbia, began mobilizing on July 30th. In response, Germany declared war on Russia on August 1st, and following its Schlieffen plan, declared war on France on August 3rd. Germany's invasion of neutral Belgium on August 4th brought Britain into the war to defend Belgian neutrality. Primary sources from the time, such as newspaper headlines, government proclamations, and personal letters, capture the urgency and sense of inevitability felt by leaders and citizens. Reenactments can depict the patriotic fervor and anxiety, with soldiers marching off to war amidst cheering crowds. These mobilizations and declarations rapidly escalated the conflict into a full-scale global war driven by alliances and military strategies. In conclusion, we've examined the strategic, economic, and political factors that led Germany to start World War I. Germany's fear of encirclement, ambitions for economic and colonial expansion, and the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand all played crucial roles in escalating the conflict. This complex interplay of motivations turned a regional crisis into a global war. Understanding these factors underscores the importance of diplomacy and the need to prevent such conflicts in the future. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more content on history and international relations. Stay tuned for more insightful videos.